What's up, everybody? It's Tuesday, March 17th. Uh, I'm in my new office, uh, my old bedroom growing up. But I wanted to uh, say what's up to everybody, check in, make sure everybody's doing great. I want to thank everybody that's uh, already completed the workout and either uh, submitted the poll or emailed me to let me know that you had it completed. Uh, I really appreciate it. I know that there's been some technical difficulties. Uh, so please be patient with us as we are working towards uh, improving our ability to reach you guys and also uh, submit back to us. Um, just want to clarify a couple things. Uh, if you have a class on Monday through Wednesday, you do not have to do the workout every day, but you can if you'd like. If you'd really like a challenge, try doing a different name. I know that some of you guys have really enjoyed the alphabet workout, and I, I hope it was uh, a challenge for you. Now, tomorrow we'll be posting our next workout. Um, Mr. A uh, will be explaining how to do that. Uh, it is for any classes from Wednesday to Friday. So you only have to do one workout for Monday to Wednesday, and then one workout for Wednesday to Friday. Okay, and then just complete the poll. It's usually going to be one question. This is not supposed to be something that is a major, major challenge. Uh, we just wanted to make sure that you guys are staying active and healthy because that's one thing to keep our immune system strong. So uh, another thing I want to talk to you guys about today is why are we out? Uh, everybody's heard a lot of stories about coronavirus, COVID-19, and uh, a part of being a health teacher is staying up with current events in terms of the health professions field. So I came up with a little cheat sheet for you guys, uh, and I wanted to just kind of make you guys aware of it. Uh, I will post a short one question response at the end on our class pages. Uh, you can also find this on YouTube on the Mr. Emmy One YouTube channel. So uh, here's what I got for you. So the coronavirus, apologies if you guys cannot see it. Also known as COVID-19, we got all, all this information can be readily found on cdc.gov. Okay, the first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the spread. So the spread happens one of two ways, okay? From close contact within six feet of another person or through respiratory droplets. So we talked about sneezing into our elbow or coughing into our elbow or using the inside of our shirt so that we don't expose those droplets. Well, that's how it spreads, okay? And it can spread by putting your hands or any of those droplets on surfaces. So that's one thing that you want to do. Symptoms. Symptoms can be things like fever, coughing, and shortness of breath, all right? And those symptoms usually take part between two and 14 days of exposure. Okay. The next thing, you are most contagious when your symptoms are showing. So if you're not experiencing symptoms, you can still be contagious. Okay. And most people, most healthy people don't experience very, very heavy symptoms, but you can still spread the virus. Okay. There is no vaccine yet, but there are uh, vaccines in the trial phase. Okay. And I believe uh, if you're staying up with your current events, but out in Washington, there are people going through the trials right now. So uh, we are on the right path. Okay, what can we do? Well, the one thing that we can do, and the reason why we're not in school, is because we want to limit the movement in our communities. Okay, this is a lot of the reason why a lot of the restaurants have shut down too, because we just don't want a lot of people to be exposed. Okay. Another thing, practice good hygiene. We've talked about washing our hands and using hand sanitizer. That's another thing that you guys could do, but also cleaning and sanitizing your house so that if you do get sick, okay, you're not spreading it, okay? And then the other thing is, if you do get sick, stay home and call your doctor first before you go anywhere because the more exposure people get to this, the more it spreads. And ultimately, our goal is that we want to slow the curve of the spread and then eventually, okay, by the time our vaccines are all here, Everybody can be prepared and everybody can be healthy. But uh, if you want more information about this uh, health crisis, you can go to cdc.gov. Okay, that's where we got all of our information from. Uh, and if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. But listen, 
read, stay healthy, enjoy your time with your family. Okay. Uh, I know this is uh, difficult circumstances, but we look forward to seeing everybody soon. Okay. And look out for our workouts tomorrow. Remember, YouTube channel is Mr. ME1. And uh, you can do the workouts and stay in touch. See you soon.